everyone, I'm Jessica. I'm in my second year of iBiomed and software, and I'm gonna try my best to tell you guys a bit about my stream and why I chose it yet last year. So to start things off, I definitely entered iBiomed last year having no clue which stream I wanted to choose. At the end of the year, I think I was choosing between software, HESI, and EngFizz. And I ended up choosing software at the end of the day because I thought I had the most opportunity. But I will be the first to say that it was a really difficult decision and I'm sure it is for you guys right now. Um, so I just want to get a few things out of the way at the beginning that I know a lot of people are concerned about when they think about software. For one, not everyone knows that they want to do software since their entire life. Um, as I just said, I had no clue. And I know that was something that scared me at the beginning, that everyone else would know software super well, they'd be super smart, they would know absolutely everything. But the reality is that there are going to be people in your class who have been coding since they were little, but there's also going to be people who only have just started learning coding. I didn't touch coding until I was in first year university and I was fine. You'll be fine too. Maybe you'll have to put a bit more effort in, but it's not a concern. I know another thing is people are scared that you can't do software if you're not good at coding, but that's actually not true. Coding is not about how well you can write a for loop. Software is not about how well you can type any of that. It's actually about how well you can problem solve. And that is something that if you are an iBiomed, you should probably be really good at. And I guarantee you that every single co-op I've gotten, all the opportunities that I've gotten from software are not because I'm the best coder in the room, but because I can problem solve and I can communicate. And that's why I'm sure that if you believe that you want to do software, how good you think your coding skills are, are not going to dictate how successful you'll be in the program. So beyond that, I guess I'll go through a few basics of the program. So our courses are about half software courses, so very technical courses. Some of them are coding based, um, some of them are like discrete math um, or about like hardware systems. And the other half are our iBiomed courses and I find that that was a really good balance because I don't think I could sit there and do tech stuff all day every day but I also do not think that I would be able to sit there and do biology all day so it ended up being a really good balance and knowing I had that balance was a really big thing for me when I was choosing. Uh, beyond that I think that a lot of people are concerned about how iBiomed and software don't really mix. And they actually really do, in my opinion. They're both really big emerging fields, so there's actually a lot of overlap. You, um, there's a lot of labs at Mac, actually, that are doing like AI and machine learning on biological systems, on genome modeling, um, which is that combination of tech and bio. It's also, they're just big fields that are brand new and because of that there's a lot of opportunities for innovation for entrepreneurship and that's kind of why I ended up choosing software um, over the other fields because I just thought I had the most opportunity um, for me. I was interested in NFIS because there's so many electives, so many paths to go. I thought about HESI because of the entrepreneurship but at the end of the day I did choose software because the way I looked at it was it's just such a big field where you can learn a lot and that's kind of where the world is moving today. So having a background in that field even if that's not my end game it does give you a lot of opportunity to be like hey I have those skills, I have these skills in biomedical engineering and software engineering that are so big right now being able to put those together I th thought that that would just open the door to the most opportunities which is why I kind of went with it um, but I did definitely consider those other streams as well um, there's also a lot of opportunities to work on project we have project dedicated courses for both of our semesters so you can work on like applying software to the real world so it's not like you're learning theory all the time and you end up with really cool projects to put on your resume um, speaking of resume, I think that software has so many opportunities for really cool co-ops. It's definitely one of those fields where if you want to get a co-op, you're going to have to put a bit of effort on the side. You're going to have to come up with side projects, maybe do a bit of practice coding on the side. But if you have those basic sounds, there are so many opportunities for co-ops in tech because tech is so open right now. And I think a lot of people have misconceptions that they don't go to certain schools and that big companies won't accept them, but that's actually really not true. Um, so we have iBiomed students in third year who have worked at Slack, who have worked at Facebook, who have worked at um, 
a bunch of other big companies, Google. I'm personally going to be working at Microsoft this summer. I think that if that is your end goal, it's very much possible. And as I said before, it doesn't really have to do with how good at coding you are. A lot of those companies do care about, hey, do I have those intrapersonal skills? Can I work on a team? All those skills they really push in iBiomed. Um, so in terms of co-ops, last summer I worked at RBC for the summer. I was doing software development there. And for anyone stressing because they don't have a co-op yet, don't worry. I don't think I got mine until early May, I'm uh, sorry, early March last year. So you guys will be fine. And it was really cool because I find that co-ops in tech, they're not going to sit you there and make you do data filing or um, any like grunt work. You'll actually have an opportunity to do something that makes an impact. I sat there over the summer and I was building like web pages that are still on being used by RBC employees today. Um, and this summer I'm working at Microsoft in an internship program called Garage where you get paired up with other students and the Microsoft Teams will pitch you a project and you work with it on this whole summer. For example, last year there was a team that worked on adding autism plugins into Minecraft so that it would be more accessible for people with disabilities, which is really cool. Um, so that's just like... I guess some of the opportunities in co-ops, I know I haven't chose the most biocentric ones. I do want to do that in the future, but those are kind of options out for you if that's what you're interested in. Um, so I tried to kind of, I guess, hit at what I thought would be the most questions that you guys have, but if you have any more questions, there's contacts available for all of us in all the different streams on Avenue and feel free to contact any of us with any questions. Um, so I hope you guys are all safe at home and that you're doing well and thanks for listening and I hope you guys consider choosing software engineering because it's actually really fun. Bye!